Welcome ladies and gents to the York Art Gallery ahead of today's play or first round against Yeovil where fittingly we'll be looking to put on an artistic performance but in order to do that we need to head on over to the stadium. Okay, so as you can see above me, we are the only playoff game in town. Yes, South End versus Crawley isn't until tomorrow. So we will have to wait to find out which of those two teams make it through to the next round and hopefully which of those two teams will be our opponents in that round. We do, of course, have to get past Yeovil, though, a team we've had a rather 50-50 record against we beat them last time out we lost to them the time before that i think we beat them 2-0 lost to them 2-1 prior to that but without further ado let's head on into the dressing room let's crack on with this one let's apply the opposition instructions there's only one of them and today it's a backed out capacity we've got 8512 tickets sold from an 8512 capacity poor pitch condition drizzly 12 degrees celsius and calm weather looks like they're going to go for a 4411 but we'll find out if that is right but it sounds like it's going to be a rather scrappy affair in bad weather on a bad condition pitch. Now, in terms of the team, it's the usual suspects. We've got Oluwayemi in goal, the back line of Mason, Sykes, Shipley and Garlin. Central midfield will be controlled by Wright and Fletcher with Heaney and Williams on the wings. Pedder in between and Campbell up front, a bench consisting of Jameson, Gibson, Fielding, Dyson and Byrne. But without further ado, let's head on out. Let's crack on with this match and let's get ourselves in the second round of the playoffs. So as you can see, they are going for a triple change. Amos is out, Moore is out, Rushisha is out and Rose, Alexandra and Oduteo are all in the lineup for Yeovil. I'm not sure if that is a good or a bad thing. I do worry about Charlie Wakefield though. I do worry about Charlie Wakefield. That's one name that jumps out at me reading that. So, let's crack on with this one. I think we need to show everyone that recent praise was justified. Put on a real show out there. You know what? Um, you know, the fans are up for this match. Passion and do them justice. You know what? No. Go for on show. Don't want to put too much pressure on you. You're good enough to beat them. I know you can do this. Four wins out of the last five with one draw. How have Yeovil been getting on though? Yeovil are currently on a win, two draws, a loss and another win. They are in fact going for that 4-4-1-1, four, four, one, one, which is a bit of a surprise. Usually it gives us a formation, then it's a completely different one when we actually play the team. But right now we've got to kick off highlights, which is probably not going to amount to anything. Tom Knowles, though, going to play it inside to Whelan. Whelan gets it over to Oduteo. Oduteo, of course, one of the new additions to the lineup for today's game. It's ball over to Wakefield, though. Mason will get it and nod it down for Heaney. Now, can he do anything on this left hand side? Oh, he's been upended by Rose. Come on, ref. At least a yellow. Maybe a red? Probably a yellow. No, no card at all. Seriously, ref? No card. Absolutely no card. Gotta give him a buck in for that. Gotta give him a buck. That was a deliberate trip and a bad trip. Give him a booking. Make sure he knows he can't be getting away with stuff like that. Wakefield, though, plays inside to Darcy. Now back to Wevington. What is Wevington going to do with this one? He's trying to come down the right-hand side. Pedder's put pressure on him, though. It's over to Darcy. Rose now. Ball up to Knowles. Knowles get on to the end of it. Lovely save by Oluwayemi. Rose, of course, should already be on the yellow card here on the eighth minute. But the referee... I'm a big fan right now. Now, Whelan will collect this one as the corner ends up on the edge of the area. Lovely tackle by Pedder. Unfortunately, though, Whelan will chase it down, and that is the end of that situation. So, Carlin will be the one to throw it in here. I should have set this up next season. I'm going to make sure I don't have our right-hand side the defender coming over to the left-hand side to throw the ball in. Because... Yeah, that could go wrong real easy. Heaney whips one in though. Campbell nods it straight at the goalkeeper. Bit of a wasted opportunity. And Smith will try and go from the back. But he does not. As we have a free kick highlight now. Here on the 15th minute. Heaney back post Williams. <gasps> okay. Okay. Goalkeeper bit off his line. Yeah. Goalkeeper. Okay. I mean, it was a good bit of play. 
maybe softer free kick, Williams be onside a bit, would have been a goal. But I like the attempt. I like the attempt. Now, Pedda seems to have got a little bit of a knock. So, and he's on a 6.5. He's looking like he's probably going to be going off at half time. Right, though, gets it over to Pedda. Can Pedda do something here while he's still on? Oh, he forces Smith to save. Heaney forces a save. And a third follow up from Campbell. 26th goal of the season. We finally put it in the net, ladies and gents. It's taken us 30 minutes, just over 29, but it's going to go down as a 30th minute goal. And we have the lead. Come on. Right. Gets it over to Pedder. Pedder forces a save. Heaney then forces a save from the tight angle. And then Campbell finally pokes it home for us to gain this lead. Now, how are they getting on there? Centre back is... Okay, they've got one doing well and one doing bad. Heaney whips one over. Campbell upended. Come on, he's got to go off for that ref. Yes, come on. Mitchell Rose, by the way, got substituted for them. They are now going for a 4 3 1 1. They're deciding to drop a midfielder. Now they are down to 10 men. And it's a ball in to Pedda. Now Pedda's going to play it back to Sykes. Sykes over to right, right up to Fletcher. What's Fletcher going to do with this one? He tries a ball over the top. Wilkins gets it. He nods it forward. It goes back to Mason, though. Mason's going to play it inside to right. Now up to Campbell. Campbell's got Heaney over on the overlap. Fletcher's going to go to him. He's found Heaney. Heaney one on one with the goalkeeper. He's got a defender closing him down, though. Heaney got a tight angle. Oh, nice bit of turning from Heaney. Won himself a penalty. And Worthington, you're on a yellow card. You want to be careful. You could go down to nine men. But can we put away the penalty? Can Campbell get his brace? Of course Campbell can get his brace. Campbell with a second goal of the game. 27th of the season. Slots the penalty home. And we seem to be breezing our way through to the next round of the playoffs. This is nice. Let's have another look at this one. We of course... Have all the time in the world as we don't have catch up games and it's simply this game. So gonna be thrown in by Odu Teo in two Knowles. Back to Odu Teo once more. He's gonna turn back, gives it to Stevens. Now up to Knowles. Knowles gonna try build one midfield. Yeovil, very uphill struggle right now. Alexander on the halfway line plays it back to Knowles. Now, of course, down by two goals, but also down a man. Knowles in the same circle will play it back to Wilkinson. Wilkinson now up to Wakefield. Wakefield, what will he do with this one? Dispossessed by right. Nice tackle. Heaney gets it over to Mason. Mason's got plenty of space on this left-hand side. He's going to make use of that. Plays it up to right. Right now, plays it inside to Heaney. Lovely through ball. Pede doesn't get it. Campbell, in fact, gets it. And is he onside? I think he is. That's a hat-trick, ladies and gents. I wasn't quite sure. I was keeping an eye on Pedder. Campbell did look like he might have been offside. I wasn't 100% sure on that. Wanted to wait just to make sure. But Campbell, if we look here, made a beautiful run. Just held it until the ball came to him and then darted past the defence to slot home his third. Our third. And we go into half time, ladies and gents, with a 3 0 lead and a one man advantage. Now we've scored three goals from our five on target, but that's five on target from six. We have been clinical here today. Possession wise, the only thing I can complain about 33% possession, but I would argue, considering they are down to 10 men, they've probably been doing a lot of keeping the ball and just trying to keep the ball away from us. So I can't be too upset with that stat. Now, I think we need to, uh, yeah, praise was justified. You've seemed demotivated. You know what? No. Individual, you have been brilliant. I'm delighted with the way you've played so far, Campbell. Don't you be demotivated by that. You have been fantastic. And speaking of which, the fantastic Mr. Pedder, who has been struggling, Jesus, Jaden, 6.3. We'll pretend we didn't see that. Jaden and Carlin, 6.6, 6.3. I think I know where we're going to be making our substitutes later in the game. Right now, though, Dyson is just going to go into that central attacking midfield role for Pedda, who, of course, has that knock. Hopefully, the knock isn't too bad. Hopefully, it doesn't keep him out of the next round, which I can pretty comfortably say we shall be going into 
considering we have this screen a lead and of course that man advantage Sykes is going to play out wide to Mason though he plays it inside to Dyson Dyson over to Mason back to right right over to Sykes Sykes he's going to go across to Shipley in the center what's he going to do with this one he tries to ball up to Jaden Williams now can he have a better second half than his first if he had to play worse than he did in the first whips one in he need free header straight out the goalkeeper to be fair to Williams he didn't have a whole lot to have to do but 6.3 yeah that's definitely reflective of a bad half regardless ball over to Heaney Mason lovely bit of room for Mason over here of course 10 men does leave them a lot of room at the back ball into Williams unfortunately though poor finish and that is rather reflective of that 6.3 rather reflective indeed he is up to a 6.5 to be fair but it's ball over to Mason Mason gets it to Heaney, inside to Dyson, nice little one-two, got round the defence, unfortunately Heaney looks like he's going to run into their right back at the moment, he plays out wide to Mason though, Mason plays it across to right, edge of the area, back to Mason, lovely bit of possession here, slide tackle almost dispossessed Mason, but right has it and gets it back to him, right ball over the top to Campbell, ooh, he could have got a fourth, may the fourth be with you, but it was not, he was offside, he was ball straight out the goalkeeper, and... I don't know if you saw that with their formation, but that is a peculiar change. Shift the free out to the right and then shift them back into the middle. Hmm. I'd have to think about that one for the future. Again, they're doing it. What are they doing with... There, look. It's over to the right hand side. <laughs> I think the Oval manager is having a bit of a mental breakdown, to be honest. Shift them over to the right, shift them in the middle. Shift them over to the right, shift them in the middle. Who knows? Maybe they're trying to stop our attacks down the left-hand side. I'm sorry, but you cannot. Mason is amazing. So is Heaney. You're not going to stop him by just shifting over your central midfielders. It's just not going to work. Even with Williams and Carlin struggling on the right-hand side. Speaking of which, both of those are going to leave the pitch now. The question is, how do we do this? I think we do it like this. We go fielding, Fletcher. Fletcher slides across. Dyson... Dyson can go and you know what Dyson just be a winger you're okay as a winger we'll let you be a winger that is the plan and Mesa will just play it up to Fletcher now Heaney Heaney's gonna run inside ball up to Dyson through ball to Campbell come on Campbell get a fourth yes come on Campbell fourth goal of the game both for Campbell and of course ourselves 9.3 from Campbell by the way he is having a great game Shifley, usually the main man, he's down on 7.2. That's rather poor for him, to be honest. He's been beaten by Heaney. He's been beaten by Campbell. He's currently being beaten by Mason. Got to pick it up, Shifley. You are usually on like a 7.6. Your average is going to go down, my friend. Admittedly, it's going to stay like 7.4 and above. But, oh, uh -oh he's head, mate. He went up to a 7.5, though. It's back up to a 7.5. Ooh, 7.6. 7.5? Okay. Shifley didn't like my comments about him dropping in his his average rating. So, Dyson over to Fielding. He finds Shifley now to Fletcher. Fletcher ball up to Campbell. He's got an overlap in Heaney. Heaney from range. Have a dig, my friend. Come on, it's 4-0. Instead, lets the defence get back. It's blocked and it looks like it's going to be a corner. So, Mason already over at the corner flag after chasing that ball down. What will he do with the delivery, though? It looks like they have changed their formation, yes. Their manager is having a mental breakdown. Don't need to worry about that one game. Don't need to worry about that. Looks like they're going to go route one. Yeah, well, considering they've got just over two minutes to try and score four goals, I'm not surprised they're going to try and go route one. They need to get goals and need to get them very quickly. Ball in, though. Smith will collect this one. And now, Yeovil trying to get themselves a constellation goal. It's a ball up to Grant. Sykes will nod it forward. Alexandra intercepts it. It's intercepted yet again, though, by Sykes. He gets it to Mason. Mason cutting inside, plays it short to Sykes. Very short. He could have literally touched him. Fielding, ball up to Dyson. Dyson got plenty of space on this right-hand side. He can pull it back as well if he wishes. He should. He pulls it back for Gibson. What's Gibson going to do? He's going to turn and pass it to Fielding. Fielding's got a little bit of room. Plays it up to Dyson. Dyson is close down though. Short to Gibson. Gibson to Fle Fielding. Up to Fletcher who pokes it past the goalkeeper. 
Nice bit of build up play. Fletcher, second goal of the season. <sighs> and ladies and gents, we are going through to the next round. But the question is, who will we be versing? Who? Who? We'll be meeting us in those next rounds. We, of course, have Chesterfield in the next round and Wrexham in the next round. But is Southend going to be in the next round or, or will we have Crawley moving into those playoff games as well? Only one way to find out. And that, of course, is to progress to tomorrow. As you can see, Campbell with those four goals. Got himself a 10 rating, a 9.2 for Heaney. That, that was a pretty darn good game. So, let's head on over to tomorrow. Let's see what the next round of the playoffs look like. And so, after picking up a 1-0 victory, Southend secured their place in the semi-finals of the playoffs, joining, of course, Wrexham, Chesterfield and ourselves in this draw. But the question is, who will get who? So, let's view the draw. The first team out of the hat will be Wrexham. The team, I would argue, is probably the one to avoid, although we have been pretty damn good against Wrexham. Chesterfield is probably our bogey team out of these three. And the team that shall be versing Wrexham is... Okay, I'll take it. It's technically the hardest game of the three. But, like I said, we've had a good record against Wrexham. We are heading back away against Wrexham. And, of course, Chesterfield shall host Southend. So, our next game is pretty darn soon. It's on the 30th of April, 28th today. So, two days' time. So, I'll see you fine folks back for that game in the next one. I hope you all have a lovely night. And, goodbye.